What's going on, Flight Sim Crew? It's your Paddling Command Ryan with a bit of a different video today. So, in my downtime, I've been playing a little bit of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And I wanted to highlight uh, how you can quickly get auto build very early in the game. It's probably one of the most handy features, and uh, it's worth just knowing where it is so that you can get it as soon as you feel comfortable getting it. Without further delay, here's the tutorial. So, uh, you're going to have to obviously. Um, get the Skyview Tower at Lookout Landing, and then you're going to want to head south towards the next tower that's part of that field. It's close to the Great Plateau, if you remember that from Breath of the Wild, and <clears throat> from there, we can use that as a launch pad to get up to the Great Plateau, and there is a gloom pit that will bring us down into the depths. Now one thing I do always want to recommend when you launch off one of these sky towers is take a moment to, to use your cam your um, purr pad and just scan the landscape because you may find shrines or just interesting locations that you can mark on your map. It's a great op opportunity to uh, get a feel for the place and uh, Stamina is your friend. If you don't have a lot of stamina, make do yourself a lot of favors and uh, cook up some good stamina uh, elixirs well before you try this. As you can see, I'm almost out of stamina. Fortunate for me, I got the glide suit pretty early on, so... A little wingsuit there for the uh, people with a death wish, um, and, uh, or the crazies out there. And uh, yeah, I'm going to glide over to this gloom pit here. Now, if you've never been to the depths, everything is dark. So uh, along your journey, you're going to pick up these bright bloom seeds. You're going to need those to illuminate. Um, the areas, but I'm going to show you a neat trick when um, you build kind of a, a little four-wheeler that might make that easier and uh, save you some of those uh, inventory items. Alright, so now I'm going to build a cart, and I'm, I'm going to run this kind of in fast mode because uh, I respect your time, so... Uh, Get ready to see things in hyperspeed. But the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot a uh, bright bloom seed onto the front of the cart, which will illuminate, uh, basically act as a headlight, but it's also going to activate the cart, so I'm going to immediately shoot another arrow at it to stop it from running me over. They do offer you a headlight, but it's just going to consume more of your Zonite um, battery. And if you're like me, early in the game, that's a precious resource that, you know, you, why, why waste it when you can just use a plant to do the same thing? All right, so now we are cruising. I will say uh, I have not experimented with many vehicles yet. I know tons of people have uh, some really interesting builds that they've done available on YouTube. I'll probably put a card description of just some of the content creators I've found that have really gone into depth in this. I, again, you know, my channel is based around aviation. This is just kind of a one-off because I'm having fun with this game. But um, I will link to some other ones if you are enjoy if you're playing this game. You want to get the most out of it. Some great uh, channels out there that can give you a lot of info. So from the map here, we're going to basically be heading in the southern direction. because We're going to be looking for an area called the Great Abandoned Mine. And to be frank, you, I mean, you might as well just like go here first. <laughs> it's, it, it's so valuable that uh, before spending any time down in the depths and just dealing with the insanity that is the depths. Just come here first. Make your life easier. Alright, so Great Abandoned Central Mine. This is the key location. And 
in this video, I'm not going to give any spoilers. So I'm going to cut the video out before, but I will upload another video that gives you more inf information with a spoiler warning if you're cool with that. Uh, but this is just how to get the auto build. So you can see that glowing hand there. And I'm going to come to a full stop. I'm going to basically say that they've been researching this and um, they're having a hard time. It seems to give some type of ancient power. Obviously, that's kind of, that's been the whole shtick since, since the beginning of the uh, the storyline is that these ancient powers are what you need to, uh, you know, do, do what you got to do in the game. And I'm going to talk to this person and he just says that he's here to investigate too. Definitely, you know, nothing suspicious about that. And let's get to activating this. Upon activation, I'm going to get a um, warp spot, and this construct's going to pop to life. He's going to be so happy to see me. And if I can do a little drum roll, auto build is on my way. So auto build, after you've created devices, you can then save them into auto build so that you can then spawn them without having to go through the tedious process of building them again and again and again. And um, like I said, early on in the game, as you start to find you know, different devices that you, know, you like or you find a lot of utility in, it's great to just know that you can save that design and then Bring, like just call back that design instead of having to spend 15 minutes to reassemble it and deal with all the quirks that Ultra Hand 